السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of first secondary We are going to solve problems of Egyptian knowledge bank Lesson 2 chemistry and nanotechnology Question number 1 Answer the following If we discuss about human hair Human hair has a diameter of 80,000 nanometer how many nanoparticles with the diameter of 50 nanometer would fit across the human hair? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, we want to comparing between two points here. The first one, human hair, 80,000 nanometer, and another one, particle with human hair of 50 nanometer. Okay. Here we have the number of comparing or to discuss if 1,600 units. Okay, if we comparing 50 to 80,000, here we have 1,600 watt nanometer. Okay, this increasing from the first one. Question number two. Nanoparticles are used in sun cream, which is, or which of the following reasons, is not an advantage of adding nanoparticles to sun creams. Here we have new substance or new technology in using creams or sun blocks. Here we have more than one choice. Nanoparticles in sun creams are absorbed deeper than or deeper into skin and provide longer protection. Do you think that? Okay, we will discuss it. Nanoparticles in sun creams may be washed away into environment. I think it may be not right. Nanoparticles in sun creams result in transparent liquid. Okay, it's like you didn't add anything you have okay maybe nanoparticles in sun creams give better skin coverage okay it may be causing coverage or protection here we we mean that we have protection maybe nanoparticles in sun creams provide better protection against ultraviolet rays okay what do you think about the last one? Okay, it's not the last one. We have here nanoparticles in sun creams may be washed away into the environment. It means that it make holy protection or like a glass away from any environment. Okay, here we have question very important and very accurate to discuss it okay i think you must discuss very well or you must study any all the point inside nanotechnology question number three here why can nanoparticles be used as effective catalysts in very small quantities why why we can use catalysts as we taken before that catalysts are active substance that increase the speed of chemical reaction without entering in the chemical reaction here we have small quantities of it okay we will discuss five points here they are transition metals okay it's not maybe right they are lightweight maybe they have low reactivity maybe they are inflammable also maybe they have high surface area to volume ratio okay I think we will not discuss anyone as we have here the last answer it will be the right answer they have a high surface area to volume ratio it is the only property that characteristics for nano substance if we comparing any substance 
comparing two nano substances here we have high surface area comparing to the volume it means that all substance if we have two substances have the same volume if we decrease or increase we must discuss increase the surface area if we increase surface area of this substance so we will coming to nano volume or we have here the nanoparticles so by increasing surface area comparing to the volume means that volume is constant we have here nanoparticle substance in the nano dimension okay question number four which of the following reasons could explain why one gram of gold nanoparticles are better catalyst than one gold or one gram of solid gold metal okay we must compare between here we want we have the first one gold in the nano size and another one gold in its normal size or in its solid state as normal okay here we have the nanoparticles have smaller mass we not are talking about mass only okay the second one nanoparticles have larger surface area okay I think it may be right we will continue nanoparticles have a smaller surface area no 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 it's wrong very the number D nanoparticles have a greater mass I said we're not discussing mass nanoparticles have a larger volume okay we said the constant we have constant volume so the right answer here will be nanoparticles have larger surface area okay I think now it's maybe easy to discuss the main property of nano substance that we are increasing surface area comparing to volume comparing to what comparing to volume question number five here which of the following statements about nanoparticles is correct okay the first one nanoparticles have a low surface area to the volume ratio I think it may be wrong or sure it's wrong nanoparticles can't be as catalyst also it's wrong nanoparticles can't form a transparent layer wrong 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 nanoparticles push no risks to environment okay it may be right nanoparticles can be used as antibacterial agent okay what is the meaning of antibacterial agent it means that it make protection from bacteria so we have here the right answer will be nanoparticles can be used as antibacterial agent okay we will continue question number six why do nanoparticles or nanoparticulate materials have different properties from those of the same substance in block or in bulk the question here asking about what is the difference between substance in the normal size and another substance in the nano size number one due to the larger size and large surface area to volume ratio of nano particles due to small size okay we will not complete due to large size and the small surface area okay we're not comparing size to volume okay here we have small size and larger volume comparing to it okay here we have the last one of the answer here will be continue or the answer will be the last one due to small size and larger surface area to volume ratios of nanoparticles okay I hope you understand this question question number six which of the following is not an application of nanoparticulate materials okay what do you think about it electric wires 
sunscreens, catalysts, paintings, cosmetics. All of these, except what? Except electric wires. All of these are uses of nanoparticulate materials, sunscreens as cosmetic substance, catalysts increases all reactions, painting make protection to all painting like in planes, cosmetics means here we have protection from any factors of environment. Question number eight. Nanoparticle is shaped like a cube with sides 20 nanometer in length. What is the surface area to volume ratio? Okay, if we are comparing surface area to ratio, we have here length of what? 20 nanometer. Okay, we will take surface area to volume. Okay, here we have the volume will be 20 times 20 times 20 will be, we have here a cube, will be 8,000. Okay, it's a volume. And its surface area will be 40 divided 80 uh, uh, divided 8,000 will be the answer here 0 0.3 nanometer okay we have here the surface area to volume will be 0 0.3 nanometer question number nine here put the following sizes of particle in the correct order from the smallest to the largest one okay we have here coarse particles nanoparticles and fine particles okay neglecting the chooses okay here we have different physical states or different sizes of matter we will starting from smallest to the largest one the smallest one here will be nanoparticles okay and after that we have fine particles and the last one coarse particles so the answer will be nanoparticles number d fine particles and coarse particles i think it's easy question we will continue question number 10 here which of the following represent a possible risk when using nanoparticles okay here we have very important questions means that we have the side effects of using what nanoparticles they prevent toxic substance from entering the body i think it's maybe advantage not harm their manufacturing process causing destruction of landscape i think it may be right their production process limit biodiversity in the environment okay it may be right inhaling them into the lungs may catal may catalyze harmful reactions I think it's uh, the disadvantage or the very important question as we have here we are talking about what corona here we have discussing very important question that in our life today inhaling them into lungs may catalyze harmful reaction like a virus corona it have a small size or small surface area comparing to its volume or its very small size and light in weight it will enter the lungs and causing its harm or malfunction of respiratory system here we have its very important question here that we have in our life okay another question question number 11 how many atoms does a single nanoparticle typically contain? Okay, here we have few thousand, less than 10, few hundred, between 10 and 100. Okay, what do you think? Tens of thousand. Here we have a single nanoparticle atoms. Single nanoparticles means here we have few hundred. It means that from one to hundred the same meaning we said that any substance in the nanoscale must contain or must its